From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Hitachi Construction Machinery Africa has made available to the South African market its Zaxxas 7G series excavator and BX100 Shinrai Power Backhoe Loader, which offer high efficiencies and increased safety for the mining and construction sectors. Malone Arnoldi visited the showcase. The Zaxxas and BX100 machines complement HCAF's existing range of excavators, wheel loaders and rigid dump trucks in southern Africa and better caters to customers needing to remain competitive in the increasingly turbulent economic environment. With higher productivity capabilities and lower total cost of ownership, the Zaxxas 7G series marks a significant advancement on the preceding 5G models, with the latest machine offering various improvements from engine technology to cabin features. The new 7G excavator has also proven to use up to 25% less fuel in ideal operating conditions, owing to the company's patented load sensing hydraulic system. The technology senses the load and automatically adjusts the hydraulic pressure that is applied, which ultimately results in cost savings for customers. HCAF Sales and Dealer Support Manager Wade Peterson tells us more about the Zaxxas 7G model improvements and fuel savings on both machines. So really we've, uh, we've gone back to the common rail engine type. So the most noticeable enhancements is the improvement in engine output. So the new 7G series has, has got increased power output from the engines. Um, and we've, we've uh, improved from the previous Dash 3 model, which was also common rail types, um, and learned from the, the previous failures that we had with that. And, and really the most noticeable enhancements on these machines is the, the engine output. But we've also done a lot of in, uh, improvements in terms of the cab. So we've got a new 8-inch high-resolution monitor that we've now introduced compared to the previous LCD monitor. There's enhanced safety features within the new, the new 7G machine as well. So really the, the team in Japan has developed this with the customer in mind. So all the benefits uh, result in increased fuel efficiency, um, maximum machine uptime so that, that the operating cost for the, the customer actually reduces. And that's where they focused on, on the new 7G series. So the 7G, if I, if I speak about the excavators, we're seeing up to a 25% in, a reduction in fuel burn, um, which is obviously significant, but, you know, based on the, the, three, the three models we currently have analyzed. Um, we've, we've brought them in uh, and, and tested them in field. So we've had them out, customers using them in, in the field, and we're seeing significant cost savings on, uh, on, on the fuel burn. Obviously, that's dependent on, on your work mode you know, whether it's operating in high power mode or, or standard power mode um, and also the application that it's working in. Um, but we are seeing significant re reduction in fuel burn with the 7G. With the, with the backhoe loader, um, it's a new product to us, so we've had testing done. Uh, we are seeing uh, relatively low fuel burn in the backhoe loader. We're trying to keep it as low cost for the you know, cost of ownership for the end user as possible. But we'll have to try and test that as it goes into the market. I think uh, it's, a, it's a brand new product for us um, and, and we're excited to see how that does with regards to its fuel burn and, and stuff like that. In turn, the BX100 offers increased versatility, more fuel efficiency and a 99 horsepower engine, making it a reliable choice for operators seeking strength and efficiency. Various accessories can be fitted onto the BX100, making it suitable for various other industries beyond mining and construction, such as agriculture and forestry. Peterson elaborates. So the backhoe load is quite unique. It's, it's the first time we've, we've brought in a product like this. It's, it's manufactured in, in India in collaboration with Tata Hitachi. So yeah, we get, we get quite a few attachments that you can add to the backhoe loader, such as an auger drill or a trench bucket or various other things, mulches, etc. So ideally what you'd then do is you'd, you'd look at, at farms, agriculture, um, various types of, of river cleaning, trench cleaning. So the versatility of the backhoe loader is, is quite unique because you, you really can apply to, to various sort of applications. There's a quick couple of attachment that, that you can bring it in with. So uh, switching from one mode, from example, the auger to a, a mulcher or to a bucket is, is quite simple and, and easy to do then. Um, but again, it's, it's a wide variety, agriculture, construction obviously with, with the general construction work that we do, um, but also in, in vineyards, farms, etc, etc. We, we do quite a bit, yeah. HEAF's introduction of these machines to the Southern African market is testament to the company's commitment to the region, particularly to address the unique challenges and opportunities presented by this market. 
The company believes Africa is ripe for more infrastructure development as urbanization and industrialization propels its expansion. Peterson gives his insight. As Hitachi Global, the, the 7G is not new to Hitachi as a group. Um, it's new to us in Africa. Uh, they've, they've developed data from, from all over the world. I think uh, Europe and, and uh, Australia and, and countries like that have, have benefited from this being in the market for, for many years now. Uh, Africa as, as a country has been very reliant and, and happy with the 5G model, which is the predecessor to the 7G. But we've decided to implement the, the 7G because of the benefits that it, that it has compared to, to its predecessor, the 5G. So, by learning from the previous years of having the 7G in market for you know the European markets and stuff, they've now developed it and, and brought it in specifically to the Africa market. We bring in the LCR model, which is which is a hard rock application model, so it's specific to the African market, uh, the tougher terrains and, and stuff for that. Whereas generally the the previous or the, the European markets won't necessarily have the LCR model, which is specifically for the hard rock application. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.